Hey everybody and welcome back to the vlog. Today is Wednesday. It's January 17th. It's afternoon now. Um, we've got some lessons finished up in school and I'm about to make some granola. I've actually never made this before. I just looked up the recipe so I thought I would share it with y'all and we'll see how it turns out together. Um, so I've got my bowl here and it calls for um, the rolled oats. So I've got some here that I picked up a couple weeks ago I think. I'm actually going to get to try out my new measuring cups too. Um, I got these off of Amazon and I just love the way they feel. I love these measuring cups. So anyway, I will link them down below if you want to check them out. But it calls for two cups of rolled oats. So I'm going to go in with that first. Mama! Mama! Huh? I love you. Alright, now we're going to go in with half a cup of peanut butter. And I just have the Skippy natural peanut butter. Alright, got my half a cup here. I'm going to go in with that. And now we're going to go in with one third cup of maple syrup. One tablespoon of vanilla extract. And then a half a teaspoon of salt. All right, so now we are going to mix all of this together. And then this will have to go in the freezer for just a few minutes before we can do our second layer, which will be a yogurt layer. Um, I'm going to get all this mixed together first, and I'll show you what we're going to do next. All right, so I've got all of that mixed together. I actually have this little thing that I got from Pampered Chef last year. It's actually to put, like, granola bars in the freezer. Um, it, it says use a 9 by 9 pan, but I'm going to try to use this. I've actually, I don't think, maybe I've used it once, but I don't think I've ever used it, honestly. So I'm going to go ahead and press the granola down in these little spots before I stick it in the freezer. Alright, so I only had enough to do 10 of them. Um, so I'm going to stick this in the freezer and then we'll come back and do the next part. Alright, so I'm just going to use the same bowl to make the um, yogurt mixture. And it calls for two cups of Greek yogurt. I do not have Greek, so I'm just going to use this vanilla Activia yogurt. And it does call for two cups of the yogurt. All right, now we're gonna add a tablespoon of maple syrup, a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Together, and get our granola out here in a minute and put this on the top for the top layer. And then you can also top it with like strawberries, blueberries, whatever you wanted to. I don't think I'm gonna top it with any fruit. The kids can have that on the side if they want to. All right, so it's a while later now. My hair's looking a little bit crazy today. I got it in a low bun sticking out everywhere but i've just been at home getting things done today i had to run out real quick though to return some stuff at ups um so i'm gonna run in here and return it like amazon has a super super easy return policy um so that's why i don't mind ordering something and like trying it because it's just so easy to return with them all you have to do is just go back to the app and hit that you want to return it and then they give you a return label ups scans it everything's free you leave it and then you get your refund back within I have gotten it back the same day honestly but sometimes it takes a few days but anyway that's what I'm doing now I'm here to return um I'm excited to check out those granola bars when I get home I hope they turn out good they've been in there for a while so when I get home I'll check to see if they're hard yet if they are we'll try those out I was thinking about since I'm by myself just for a minute um run into Hobby Lobby I have not been into Hobby Lobby since early December I think um, and I've actually got a Hobby Lobby gift card that I got for Christmas. I never did get to use it because I was sick and all. But I want to check out their Valentine stuff. Not sure if I'll run in. It's really, really, really cold today. This morning I woke up, it was 17 degrees. Um, so it's a cold one. I don't know if I'll go today, but maybe. First, I'm going to go in here, return this stuff real quick. So it didn't take long at UPS. Let's go in here and check out the Valentine stuff real quick.
All right, I'm gonna show you real quick my exciting Hobby Lobby find. <laughs> it's not really exciting. They did have some cute Valentine stuff out, um, but I didn't get anything. And I really wanted like a really cute, like Valentine's coffee mug, but they had just like a few to choose from. I feel like they have more than that usually, but I think it was just like Mickey and Minnie Mouse and then like this one really big one with hearts. That's all I could find. But what I did get is baskets. I love me some baskets. So this one actually came packed with two. I only needed one, um, but it came with two of them. And I needed one of these because yesterday I went in our kitchen and cleaned out almost all of our cabinets and put everything back. Um, and I got one of our drawers cleaned out. So one of the drawers has like sippy cup lids and nipples and things like that in it. So I need a basket for lids to stick up in our cup cabinet and that will free that drawer up a little bit more if I can get the lids out of there. So that's my plan for one of the baskets. Not sure what I'll do with the second one. I'm sure I'll find a use for it. And then I got this one. It's kind of long, white, and it's deep. And I'm gonna put this in the middle of our kitchen table. For the kids, I'm gonna put all of their colored pencils and crayons and things like that in there. I'm gonna go through them first because I don't like broke crayons and things like that. So I'm gonna like weed through all of that, put all of their good colored pencils and crayons in here, put it in the middle of the table because what I'm using right now is just a really big Ziploc bag and we just throw it all in there and then we put it in our cubby, but it would be nice to have it out at all times. Plus it'd make easier cleanup when it's time to put them away, just throw them in the basket instead of having to put them in a Ziploc bag. So that's what I found at Hobby Lobby. Callie brought me back a coffee earlier. She had to go out, so I'm still sipping on that. Just a caramel latte. But anyway, I want to head back home now, check on those granola bars, um, get some more stuff done around the house. We have church tonight. Tonight for dinner, we're having roast. We're having either fries or tater tots. And then not sure which veggie I'm going to do. I may do green beans tonight, or we may do broccoli again this week. Everybody's been really loving some broccoli here lately, and I'm good with that because broccoli is good so and it's good for you so that's what we're gonna do for supper tonight all right so the granola is done i just had a piece and it's really really good this would be a really good like summer treat too because it's so cold from it being frozen it's really good all right so i've got the roast covered about to stick that in the oven and heat it up because i actually cooked it in the crock pot all day yesterday so all I had to do was put it up last night and just reheat it tonight. Got some tater tots here on the pan. I'm actually going to do broccoli for our vegetable tonight. So I'm going to get that ready. That only takes just a few minutes. So I'll do that very last. All right, here is that drawer. I was telling y'all I cleaned out yesterday. Well, actually, I cleaned out everything pretty much in the kitchen. But um, in this drawer, it was really full. Now all that's left is I do have a couple of seed packets back there from either the fall or the spring last year. Um, but I'm gonna take all of these lids now real quick and take my little basket. It's not gonna stay in here. I'm just gonna put all the lids in here. Hopefully I can get all of these to fit. They're coffee lids and they're also sippy cup lids. I don't even know what that one goes to. It might be an old one. I need to get that one. Uh, we're gonna be cutting it close here. All right, I've got them in there. I'm gonna go stick them in my cup cabinet, which is right over here. So I went through there and cleaned it out. Um, that one right there, I put all of my seasonal coffee cups, like my Christmas ones, my fall ones. I'm gonna keep all of those up there. My prenatal vitamins, Josh's vitamins, and then that is just like extra vitam vitamins up there, like vitamin D and zinc and things we don't take on a daily basis. Um, so that stays up at the top. I actually put the kids Flintstone vitamins there so they could reach those. They know how to take those, um, take two a day. So I've got those in reach for them, but I'm gonna take my little basket. Then I'm gonna put it right here. That way it takes up less space over there in that drawer. I've got space over here in this cabinet. And that way when we get a sippy cup or something or a coffee mug, we can just grab the lid from there. So that'll be nice. That works out good. I don't have the crayons and stuff in here yet, but I'm gonna stick it in the middle of the table. Just like that, that's what I was telling y'all about. And I think it'll work good here. We'll still have room to eat our dinners and things. And if we don't, then I can just take it and stick it over there in our homeschool cubby, which once again needs cleaned out. Um, but I'm gonna get that filled up. So I think most of you already know, but this is where we do school, right here at our dining room table. We did have like a dedicated room upstairs um, to do school, but it's very inconvenient, especially when you have toddlers to go upstairs to school, when you need to be near the kitchen and get snacks. So it's just so much more convenient to do school right here at our dining room table, where we're next to the living room, 
we're next to the kitchen um it's just it works out best for us and i'm right here if the kids need help while i'm working in the kitchen but i do use that upstairs space um for some storage for homeschool stuff and then the kids also use it as a playroom anyway i get lots of questions on my world map here not my world map but my usa map and i actually got the map itself off of amazon i will link that down below but the frame Molly's up there singing and banging on something. Um, I, Josh built the frame for me back in 2020, shortly after we moved here. So all I can link is the map because he built the frame. And the whiteboard came from Hobby Lobby years ago. So that's kind of our setup. I'm not sure how much I like the whiteboard there because I don't use it as much as I think I, as I thought I would. And as you could tell, it's just to use the kids kind of right on it i don't know i'm gonna try to make more use out of it if not i may find something else there to go there if y'all have any ideas let me know what would y'all put there if this was kind of your schoolroom slash dining area all right so it's later now it's actually 7 30 but i'm getting coffee ready for in the morning i'm getting the coffee pot set and ready um i actually didn't go to church tonight i've been i've just been feeling kind of tired it's just I don't know, you get lots of energy in your second trimester, but there's still days you're just like dragging. So I've been tired today. Plus it being extremely cold here is not helping. Like it's been in the teens and it's just been cold here, like really cold. And I didn't want to get my little kids out in that tonight. So they stayed home with me. I actually just sent them upstairs to watch a little TV show before they go to sleep for the night. Millie hasn't went to bed yet. She's getting to that age where she knows big sisters are staying up. A little bit longer than she is and she wants to do what they're doing so I'm letting her watch a little TV show with them while I make the coffee for in the morning real life y'all that's Holly hollering for me from the shower telling me she needs some soap let me go get her some soap okay but anyway I'm gonna finish making this we're trying a new coffee right now um, we usually get what is it the hazelnut great value but we're trying out the caramel pecan and it's actually really good um it said on their app it was like one of their best sellers so i was like i'm gonna try that i've never tried the caramel pecan as, as, i mean as far as i can remember i haven't dinner was also really good the meat was a little bit dry tonight but for some reason roast if you do it the second day it's usually dry at least mine are kind of dry the next day um i even tried adding like some beef broth to the pan when i reheated it but i mean it was good it's just a little dry I don't think that I have updated y'all on this in like forever, but um, a few months ago, we decided to switch bedrooms around here to make things work for us. So, you know, Josh and I have always had the upstairs master bedroom. It's the it's the biggest room in the house. It's, it's really big. It's got a bathroom with it. Um, we just didn't need all that space. Just the two of us. We're never up there unless it's time to go to sleep. And it was just kind of like a catch all i guess because we just did not use our bedroom unless it was time to sleep um so we actually gave that room to four of our little kids amy bethany natalie and everly we put both of their bunk beds in there so they have like they've got two dressers in there they've got like so much space in there to share um, and we actually took their bedroom which is here downstairs i like it better because it's not as much space for me to keep clean um for just the two of us and then also it's right across the hallway from millie and when baby boy is born, he will be sharing a room with Millie for a while. So both of them will be right across the hallway. The two, the two littlest ones will be right across the hallway from us. So I like it better like that. Um, and plus, I don't have to climb the stairs like I did with Millie after I had Millie. I don't know, postpartum. You just don't want to climb stairs. So that's going to be nice after I have the baby to have a main level bedroom right here. Um, but once the rooms are cleaned up, because right now they're not not that clean i will show y'all what i'm talking about and i'll show you what we did um and i'll also show you millie and baby boy's room we got it painted and got kind of a little nursery set up so i will i will plan to do a video to show y'all all that soon once i have a day where i've like cleaned everything i know it doesn't have to be perfect but i want to at least be clean before i show y'all you know how you like clean before somebody comes over i'm going to clean before i show it to y'all but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog out here. I thank y'all for hanging out with us. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button for you leave today. Give this video a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you in the comments. Bye, friends.